Welcome, YouTubers, sports fans across the nation. This your boy Turtle with the Uneducated Network, and this is my show. So, you think you know sports? Let me hear you ask. You think you better than both? You think you don't know? You think you think you don't know? So you think you 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 know sports? So you think you know? So you think you know sports? So you think you know? Okay. Welcome back, sports fans. This your boy Turtle with the Uneducated Network, and this is my show. So, you think you know sports? And today, we're going to uh, talk about the NFL. That's right. The NFL season is back. Y'all ready for some football? <laughs> I know I'm ready, man. And uh, I'm going to be bringing y'all weekly updates. Every time something big happens, trades, injuries, uh, anytime something big happens to one of the big-time players on a big-time team, uh, I'm gonna bring it to y'all, so stay tuned for that all season long. But we're gonna start right off with the Tom Benson Hall of Fame game. Shout out to Tom Benson, uh, Saints owner. They renamed the uh, Hall of Fame game after Tom Benson. Uh, he actually got a statue overlooking the stadium too now, so that's pretty fire, man. Shout out to Tom Benson and the New Orleans Saints. Uh, the game itself. I'd say it was kind of lackluster, man. The Cowboys won 20 to 18 uh, over the Cardinals, uh, but the game itself was uh, lackluster, man. They didn't come out and play like they were supposed to be playing, like we're accustomed to, to watching, show, uh, shall I say. Um, whenever you start off, I mean, that's to be expected. Both of these teams have five preseason games. Uh, Blaine Gabbert did look good. Uh, Blaine Gabbert looked good. He looked really good. Actually, he started off six for six. He led back-to-back -to -back, uh, touchdown drives. Um, Taco Charlton, he didn't ball out the way you would like him to, and the way you'd uh, you'd want him. You'd want your uh, top pick, one of your top picks, to uh, ball out uh, for the Cowboys. But uh, he he still had a solid game. Um, the Cowboys' only cornerback ended up getting hurt. Um, uh, um, the only starting player, which was the cornerback, ended up getting hurt. That that's um that's crazy, man. And it, it, it kind of it, uh, begs the question. Uh, it begs the question: Is the preseason even needed? You know, um, should they half in it? Should they turn those games uh, into regular season games, um, or should they um, do uh, like? move it to where you ain't playing as many preseason games and then you add two two and two something like that uh i don't know you tell me what you think in the comments i tell you what i think though i think that they should um i think that they should definitely half in it and um with you, you give them two preseason games and then you can incorporate a second bye week you know which uh if you want to talk about player safety and player health uh that would be something you know, great for player longevity amongst the season. You know, you give them two, uh, every team, two all, um, two bye weeks, a uh, chance to recuperate twice in the season. Uh, and that, that's a little bit bigger. I mean, because all the preseason really is is stealing money. I mean, uh, the fans are paying to go watch these games. I remember I went, I went to a Houston Texans, uh, New Orleans Saints preseason game down there in uh, Houston. And um, the tickets, uh, I paid for a nosebleed section. Uh, and the tickets were still $75. The beer was still eight, $9. You know, I mean, they're they making a lot of money off of preseason games, which by their own standard, they don't care about. You know, they, they'll tell you pretty flat out that they don't care. You know, they rested, both teams rested all the starters. I mean, that's crazy. You know, if this was basketball, somebody did that, and they playing way more games, uh, you know, you'd have a shit show, man. Everybody would be going crazy about that. So uh, it, it's kind of the double fold. You know, y'all want to get paid like NBA players, uh, but y'all don't even do the work that NBA players do as far as uh, longevity over the season. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a different take on that. Uh, if you want to hear my take on that, stay tuned for my next episode. And um, I think uh, with the players coming out playing lackluster, uh, they didn't – the game – 20 to 18, that's a good score. Like I said, the fans just really was ready for some football again. So I don't know. I don't I, I really don't 
can't see uh <laughs> excuse me excuse me i really can't see something uh being said wrong uh, about that first game i mean they both got five preseason games so it's kind of tough you don't you don't want your, your star players to end up getting hurt the league doesn't want that for sure uh but um the Hall of Fame class includes uh, kicker Morton Anderson, running back Terrell Davis, uh, safety Kenny Easley, defensive end Jason Taylor, quarterback Kurt Warner, running back LaDainian Thomason, and owner Jerry Jones. So, you know, they was cutting up with Jerry Jones. Uh, and then I think they said most of the Cowboys were going to stay out there um, to uh, celebrate with Jerry uh, over this uh, next little weekend. So that, that that should be fun for those guys. Jerry is one of those guys that's um controversial. That's all I'm gonna say about that. The man, and I seen an article somewhere that said uh some Patriots fans have already bought tickets to the NFC to the AFC title game. Come on, man. You don't know what the you don't know what the hell can happen, man, before the season up. Like you buying tickets already, man. Man, anyway, we're going to move on. Tannehill got hurt, and they looking at Jay Cutler to replace him for the time being. Whenever they got Colin Kaepernick out there, a proven good quarterback, yes, he got a controversial um, storyline, but he a better quarterback than Jay Cutler. The hell are we talking about, man? Talking about practice? <laughs> talking about Jay Cutler, man? Come on, man. Get, get that out of here, man. Jay Cutler ain't, man, get that out of here. Odell Beckham Jr., as I just said, Odell Beckham Jr. states that uh, NFL players should get paid like NBA players. You know, they want to get into that $200 million threshold. You know, they want to they break the bank like NBA players breaking the bank. You know, you got little undercard players in the NBA getting 72, 73 million, you know, 100 million. You know, they undercard players. So he got a point there. You know, he kind of got a point there because the NFL does make uh triple the amount of money that the nba makes so don't give me that bull about uh, more players and less players you know uh, that's a conversation like i said stay tuned for my next video uh i'll touch on that on my show fired up so uh let's stay tuned on that one but um that's it for y'all man that's uh just a little quick recap i wanted to give y'all of uh the arizona cardinals and the dallas cowboys playing a pretty good game the nfl season kicks off uh in september uh, most of the preseason games get uh, underway on the 9th, August the 9th and the 10th. Uh, most of the preseason games get kicked off on that. I know the Saints play on the 10th, so I'll be uh, bringing a video for that. You know, I'm gonna do every time the Saints play, I gotta bring a video for the Saints. That's my team. That's my boy. So I I I'm gonna have to bring one just so y'all stay tuned on that. And anytime the Cowboys do bad, I'm gonna let y'all know that too. So <laughs> you know, that's two things I'm gonna stay on top of right there. That's for sure. But, um, yeah, like I said, just to recap my um, this little segment right here. Should the NFL eliminate preseason altogether? Should they turn it into uh, two games, two buys? Uh, or should they turn it into uh, regular season games? Uh, to, to, you tell me in the comments what you think, uh, what's your suggestion, and what you think would be best for the players and for the league because don't forget you know we we love these players and we don't want them to uh break their bodies and uh you know give up their heart you know um on the field so to speak you know we would but not uh or overall you know we we love these guys and we want them to be uh contenders you know so uh that's all we got for y'all that's all i got for y'all today man that's um stay tuned for the next episode of fired up stay tuned for the next episode of uh, so you think you know sports and stay tuned for my um, segments of uh, high school sports in the area. Once the high school sports get um, underway, I'll start bringing um, highlights from those games and um, scores and stats and uh, possible player interviews from those games as well. So stay tuned for that. There's a lot to come on the Uneducated Network. This has been your boy Turtle. Stay tuned. So you think you know sports?